Hey, what's up? It's Luke, and you're watching Pokemon Everything. Thanks for checking out the channel and being here. I just came back from a midweek Pokemon League tournament. It was four rounds. Um, lots of fun. I brought a deck that wasn't complete yet, and when I say complete, it's in quotes because I have all the cards I want. I just don't have them at the rarities I want them at. I usually like to completely bling out the deck, but I didn't do that this time because I really wanted to play it. As it turns out, this is one of the most popular decks that that's around right now. And so, uh, I did fine. It wasn't a great showing for me personally. I think I could have done better. I went 2-2, two 1-2, two, two, lost 2. But I will say, the games were close. And that last game, where I could have been 3-1 and one or 2-2, two and two, what ended up happening was it was down to the very last play of the game. We had two big Pokemon staring each other down and um, I was trying to dig for a certain card which we'll talk about when I go through the deck I couldn't get it I couldn't dig for it um, they got what they needed they dug they got it they won the game um, fair and square it's a great game um, really close so had tons of fun like I said went two and two um, where are they yeah we got three packs so it's like one for participation and then a pack per win. So we'll open these sort of prize packs up at the end. Um, hopefully we'll pull something good out of here. But let's turn the camera around. Check out this deck. All right, as usual, I love using these Ultra Pro um, Alcove deck boxes. I wish they made some more. They have an Ultra Ball and they have the regular Pokeball. Um, getting some more of these would be cool. So Ultra Ball, not Ultra Ball, Ultra Pro if you're listening, which you're not obviously, because nobody hardly watches these videos. Uh, being a really relatively new channel, uh, they're not going to listen to me, but I'd be great if they did and they made some. That'd be awesome. So this is an Iron Hands EX deck, really popular right now. Um, playing this deck online, it's doing really, really well. Um, it gets started fast, and a couple of games, I mean, I just won on the very first turn. Like, I powered up Iron Hands for, uh, when I picked going second, and I won. The time that I lost was, one of the games that I lost was a mirror match against another Iron Hands deck, a future deck, and they picked going second because they won the coin toss, and I felt like I was behind the whole game trying to catch up um, because going second is what this deck really wants to do. So Iron Hands EX, Electric Generator, this is such a hit or miss card. I mean, you're looking for energies. You get to look at the top five of your deck to get it in there. Um, to get those electric energies, or, but um, the lightning ones, but like, it's a crapshoot. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you get two, sometimes you get none. Um, and that's just how this this card goes. Iron Crown, this is my uh, lowest rarity Iron Crown. I'm still waiting on getting the nicer special art one. Same thing with all the basics. I really want all of the really nice hyper, hyper level basics like this. About I have about half and half right now. So that's what I mean by the deck isn't complete in terms of rarity. Counter Catcher. Now this is what I was talking about in the last game. I really wanted to pull this and I drawn a, um, I guess an art vendor would have been better, but I drew a professor's research and I dug seven cards deep. Sadly, could not find the Counter Catcher. If I did, I had one prize left to get. I would have, you know, they had Dunsparce on the other side of the field. I would have just gotten one of the Dunsparces that they had and um, knocked them out because they had um, I had two prizes left to go and they had one so it was really a chess match that game tons of fun a lot of thinking came down to digging the deck uh, and they were able to dig and dig and dig and they found uh, what was it they found they found their prime catcher is what they found I would have loved the prime catcher too <laughs> that, that would have that would have also helped me win the game, but um, didn't come up. Darn you, counter catcher! And I have two. I had two of these as well. Two of these. So an Arvin would have actually just gotten it, but um, Professor's research, you know, you were digging, couldn't get there. Maridon, of course. Techno Radar, great card, gets you two future Pokemon. Arvin, big time card. Um, Iron Crown, just you know, one of the staples of this deck. Gift energy is great. Here's the professor. I just love this old school professor. I, I love using that one. More iron hands, tech radars, future boost energy. 
big time card in this deck. I'm using this boss's orders for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'll just kind of flow, flow through the deck. Prime Catcher is the a spec card I'm using. Um, sometimes, you know, your Pokemon do get stuck, even though they have like, especially if it has like a like a baton on it, you want to use your Prime Catcher to uh, get that out since they can't free retreat. Arvin, like I said, big time card, Iron Crowns, and it's just a lot of redundancy. See, I use a lot of bosses orders. I find that. I find that this deck takes the lead quite often, and so the counter catchers are like useless sometimes. Um, so boss's orders is is great for that. Baton, town store goes without saying, totally needed. Ionos, of course, I run a full set of four. Um, Iron Crown, there's four of those, and I even run two counter catchers. So I'm um, really trying to pull those Pokemon in. But there's the deck. A lot of fun to play. Uh, I got, you know, a random league card, Leafy Camo Poncho. Not the best, really. <laughs> but um, that was the card I got. Okay, and then we got three Temporal Forces packs as prizes. So prize support, some packs of cards. Always fun to open packs. Hopefully we get something good out of this. Heavy Baton, very apropos. Um, Bramblin. Great Tusk and Fluttermane, so uh, nothing in terms of huge value there, unfortunately. Let's go to our next pack. Temporal Forces is a set where it is harder to get um, your higher rarity cards, unfortunately. Iron Hands, the man there. Grubbin, Foil, Rose Raid, Reverse Foil, and we got a Miraidon EX. Right on EX, there we go. Best pull so far. And then this is pack three. And Dunsparce Mudsdale, that's cool. We got a special art Mudsdale and Bramble Gas there. So actually we got a couple of, um, I would say hits out of our Prize packs with this Maride on EX and a Mudsdale special art there, special illustration. So there you have it. It was a lot of fun today. I actually brought a friend um, beforehand teaching her how to play the Charizard deck that I made the other time. You want to check that out, you can look at uh, the playlists and see that deck as well. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.